Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a tutorial on my uh, go-to everyday look for spring which is really simple but I've been loving it. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you. So if you're interested in seeing my everyday spring makeup then just keep on watching. So I moisturized my face already and I'm going to apply the ordinary primer because I really see a difference when I use it and for foundation today I'm going to be using this CC plus um, it cosmetic uh, foundation kind of thing it has an SPF 50 this uh, foundation like it really has a good coverage even though it's a CC cream uh, and it's very hydrating and I feel like if I don't use a, a primer underneath it ends up being patchy during the day, so I have to use um, a primer with it. Then I take a stripling brush by Real Techniques. I love the smell of this foundation. It smells amazing. And for concealer, I'm using the wet the what the hell? And for concealer, I'm using the um, Collection 2000 concealer in the shade Fair. Taking a brush like that, this one, it's an expert face brush by Real Technique. I'm just going to dab that to blend the concealer. You don't want to sweat because then you will end up moving the product and the foundation underneath, which we don't want. So you dab like a beauty blender and it's quite dense, so I feel like it's a really good brush. Once we've done that, we're going to set everything with powder and for my under, I'm using the under eye powder uh, from e.l.f. And taking a small brush, I'm just going to apply that underneath. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel in the shade Transparent. I'm just applying that over. Okay, and once we've done that, we're going to bronze our face and contour. So I'm taking the Hula Bronzer and I've hit pan. I'm so proud of that. <laughs> Don't know why. And taking this big Real Technique brush, I think it's a powder brush, I'm just going to bronze my cheek a little bit. My contour my big forehead. Taking a more precise brush, this one is a highlighter brush by Elf. Just going to And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Laura Gala Gilded Honey, which is a real nice gold. I'm using this Real Technique brush. Brabone and above the brabone. For blush, I'm going to be using this Maybelline blush in Cosmopolitan. And I've had this blush for so long and I love these colors. I feel like people are scared of these kind of bright colors, but once you apply them, it gives the most beautiful flush into your cheeks. And I like to apply blush after my highlighter because I feel like ev everything is blended nicely and there's no weird lines. Highlighter. Because you never have enough. And now moving on to brows, and I'm going to be using the Brow Wiz by Benefit, oh, by Benefit, by Anastasia Beverly Hills, in the shade Medium Brown. And I missed it so much. I ran up a month ago, and I didn't repurchase it because I had so many brow products and the brow definer. But I prefer the Brow Wiz so much more. Thank you. 
And then to finish them off, um, I use the Brow This Way gel in medium brown as well. Okay, and now moving on to eyes. So for the eyes, uh, I've been using a lot of this color Chameleon. Chameleon? Chameleon? I don't know how you pronounce it. In Amber Haze by Charlotte Tilbury. And it's so easy, I like to use that all over my eyelid and I feel like it makes my brown eyes pop. I don't have really dark brown eyes but it makes them pop because there's like gold in it and I love it. Taking this Urban Decay brush, I'm just going to blend the edges. Okay, and once we've done that, we're going to curl our eyelashes. Very important. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in waterproof. And I did smudge my mascara there. I was so annoying and it's waterproof, but on my other too, but I'm going to fix that when it's dry. For lips, I'm going to be using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. And I'm gonna attempt applying that without lip liner. Wish me luck. Like so, it's such a nice peachy nude for everyday flat. And on top of that in the middle, I'm going to apply this sticks lingerie in baby doll. Just in the middle. So like so, that's the finished look. It's very simple and I feel like it's really effective. Like it looks really nice. So yeah, if you like this makeup tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what kind of tutorials or videos you'd like to see in the future and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye guys!